Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Soy Sonner, and um, today I plan to make uh, sourdough. It takes about 10 hours. It is 622 uh, Saturday. The first thing I need to measure the item to go into the sourdough. Um, to make sourdough, you need um, you need starter, and I got the starter ready last night, and one third is uh, this whole wheat bread flour. So the first thing I measure is 600, um, 600 grams of water. Don't use chlorine water like the faucet water because it got chlorine in it. So the first thing is um, you need about 700 grams of water, but the water I, I need to reserve the first thing is calibrate the, the scale. See, calibrate, and then move it to gram. And I need 650 grams of water. I save 50 grams of water to dissolve the salt. Perfect. Um, while the water is in the bowl, I need to scoop about 200 grams of um, starters. And um, it's also a good way to test the starter whether they float. 200 plus 650 will be 850. Yeah, they float. So perfect. Okay, 850. Ooh, like a one gram extra. So the thick and next thing is to dissolve these um, starters in the water. Meanwhile, in a different bowl, you need to... You need to measure a um, thousand grams of flour. Since my starter is one third wife, one third whole wheat flour, whole wheat flour, and one third uh, this all-purpose flour, so a uh, two-third all-purpose flour. So I'm going to mix that. Let me use another bowl. And the first thing is calibrate that bowl. So one third of a thousand gram is about 330, 333. Perfect. And then you need 600, um, 666 grams of white flour. 1000, perfect. So I got the flour measure and um, the next things that I need uh, 50 grams of, let me recalibrate this. I just clean the scale and then recalibrate the scale again because this is, I need 50 grams of water to dissolve the salt. Okay, so one gram extra. I need salt, I need uh, 15 grams of salt. So 50 plus 15 will be 65 65 perfect so the salt water is ready and so i can start mixing the flour with the water and the first thing you dissolve all the um starter the sourdough starter in the water and then the next thing you mix the wa flour into the water Mainly the bottom part, make sure there's no dry spot. Okay, it's done. So you need to, uh, I'm gonna scrape all the stuff from my hand and from the spatula. So you need to let it sit for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. The temperature today is kind of on the cold side. Not super cold, but it's somewhere around 50 to 60 degrees. So you, you need to give a little extra time to auto lace 636 and after you mix the flour and um you don't need to be like completely neat or something like that it just thoroughly mix the flour with the water make sure no dry spot and then you cover with a towel to let it auto lace for 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then so when i was done it was 622 and then so that today is kind of cold and uh, cloudy so let it give it a let's give it a 45 minutes so it will be about 720 
And uh, meanwhile, I warm up the water with the salt so let the salt dissolve. It has been more than a half hour, not quite 45 minutes yet. So the next thing is you mix the, the salt water and make sure you stir it at the bottom too because sometimes those salts are sitting in the back. So you incorporate the salt water into the dough. Salt dough without, without salt, it won't taste good at all. So too much salt, it doesn't taste good too. I tried the 20 gram the first time and it tastes pretty, you know, salt and doesn't taste the sourdough at all. So 15 gram for me, it's perfect. So what that's saying is you can adjust your uh, salty level. Okay, the salt water uh, is incorporated into the, into the dough. And the next thing is you do the same thing, cover it for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So let's see, it is 7.14 and I give it a half hour. So it will be 7.45, it's 7.48. And then it's, I'm going to do the this so-called so fold and turn. And you need to do four times and each time it's 30 minutes apart and potentially you could be 45 minutes apart. Sometimes you have to run to the store and to do something. So the technique is like this, you have to wet your hand with water. My faucet water is filtered, centralized filter, so there's no chlorine. And so the first thing is you pull it up and then put it down and rotate 90 degree and then you hold it up and then do another turn and then another 90 degree you do a four side and another 90 degree sometimes you got a little extra you do another turn it's okay too so another turn and i'm going to do one more So cover it and wait for another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And I always forget about how many times, how many 30 minutes did I turn. So I always ramekin <coughs> in front of me. And I put like, if it's reached to four, that's mean I turn it four times. So this is the first turn. It's 8.22 and um, it's for the second Fold and turn. So I put a second ramekin to mark it that that's the second one. That's it. Cover it for another 30 minutes. So it's 8.23. So it will be about 8.55 to 9 o'clock. I will do the third turn. 8.55, it's a little bit over 30 minutes. So I'm going to do the third turn and I put the third ramekin to remind me this is the third turn. And I wet my hand again if you, and cover. So this is the third turn. Let's wait until another 30 minutes. So right now it's 8.56, um, about 9.30 and we go to to do the last fourth turn. It's 9.30, um, I'm about to get the fourth turn. I need to put a ramekin to remind myself that's the fourth turn, otherwise I will forget. So after the fourth turn, we're going to let it sit here, um, pull for whole hour. 60 minutes so we will back we will be back to see about 10 30. it is 10 30 exactly one hour after the full term so right now i need to divide the dough the first thing i need to do is um by the way while that one hour i coated up my uh, bowl i cover them with oil and then put uh, flour 
and you just drop the dough onto the table. On the top, since I have a little extra those flour, you sprinkle a flour on top. And on the side too, because they are pretty sticky at this point. And you divided them into halves. This is more shallow, so I'm gonna divide it this way. So this is a two loaf so, of um, sourdough. So you fold it the other side and then put the sticky side all together. If you touch the flour, they, they won't be a stick. And you let them rest for another 30 minutes. So I'm going to let them rest just right here. Cover them with this towel. And 11.05, the dough has been sitting here for half hour. So I need to shape the dough. The next thing is, the shape of the dough is really easy. And um, you stretch the dough like this. Fold it one third, one third. And um, you also have to pull this way in one third and um, one third. See it like this? Um, my hand doesn't have flour, so I need some flour. And uh, you tuck it in, tuck it at the bottom. You know, keep pushing it like this. Push, push, turn, push, turn. Push turn, push turn, push turn. This step is very important. You want to build that uh, gluten on top. Push turn, push turn. Like tuck the hand like this, tuck it in, tuck it in and turn and turn and turn. So look at the bubble. It's already have big bubble on top. So um, this dough is ready and I'm going to heavy heavily coat at the top because you, if you don't do that, it will stick. So let it sit on. And after that, you just cover them with this tea towel for three to four hours. So my rule of thumb is um, about about 2.30 and I will start turning the oven on to heat up the oven. And um, right now it's a little bit too early. and cover it and three to four hours. So right now it's 11, 10, 12, 10, 1, 10, 2, 10. So 2, 10, I can start baking. So make sure you coat it pretty well because if you don't, it will stick. And um, see you about three hours, about two, two and a half hour. And I will show you to warm up the oven and the next step it's 140 30 minutes before three hours of this bread proving and i'm going to i turn on the oven to 450 degree really high see 450 degree i'm going to put these two pots um i don't have two of them i just have one of the big a uh, stock pot and then the other one is a frying pan but I double them up so I preheat the oven same time as the other two as these two pots you need to preheat them the same way and the first time I try to do the I try to do the, uh, use the uh, pirate, the glass pot, the pirate's pot. It's not filled. It's not working. So the second time I decided to use those stock pot, it works. 
and I, I just want to let you know, see the, the breasts, see how they're looking. Um, they, grow, they grow quite a size, and in some area you can see the bubble. And they are pretty happy at the moment. So let's wait for uh, until uh, 210 will be half hour warming up the oven and um, about 240 will be three and a half hour for those two loaves of bread. Let's put the bread, um, let's give the bread three and a half hour today because today is not that warm. It is 240 and the pots in the oven 450 degree for about an hour already. So I need to take them out to put the dough inside. You need to have the pot piping hot. If you use the pot, it's not piping hot and it's not gonna work. This time works great. And you need to scorch the You need to scorch the bread. If you don't scorch them, they will not. Be careful, the pan is very hot. So I put this one in. And put the other pan on top. Create that steam effect. Turn your confection oven on for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. So uh, right now is two, about 245, 242, 245. So 20 minutes, it will be 305. And then 305, we'll be back. The bread is in the oven a little bit over 20 minutes. So I need to remove the lid. Uh, let them continuously bake. So take this one. Take the top out and take the other top out. And I want you to see the bread in the oven, how they look like. See how beautiful they are? And then the, the sourdough bread smells wonderful at this moment. Just close it and then do another 20 to 25 minutes. So right now it's, it's a 306. Um, let's give it a 320, 3.30. 3.30, the bread will be ready. It's 3.30, the bread is in the oven for about 20 minutes, over 20 minutes. So it's time to take them out and um, one at a time to show you how great they look. The smell is fantastic. Look at how good these look. So you want the bread, the top had that brownish looking. Those are the caramelization from, uh, from the bread's sugar, from the sugar from the flour. So you just put it in a cooling rack, let it cool. 
um, the the dosage that I use is for two loaves. This is the two loaves, and I scorch differently. So this one is a cross. This one looks beautiful. Look at the crust on top. It had a little caramelization. This is just as good. So there you go. Um, this is how to make a tardine, uh, San Francisco tardine bakery's method. And it's, it's not hard at all. So the bread has been rested for about uh, 40 minutes. I want to cut it open to show uh, how good they look. This is a brand new knife, so it should be really easy to cut. Look at the crumb. That's beautiful. Mm, the smell smells just like sourdough. Look at the crumb. Look at the sponge. It's beautiful. Like what I said, thanks for watching. Here's um, sour, real sourdough bread. It, it's a long process. Started at seven, a little bit before seven o'clock and finish um, right now is 4.15. So including the cooling time, the entire time uh, takes about nine to 10 hours. Subscribe my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up or, uh, you know, put the notification that hit the bell button. And thanks for watching.